This is a quick tutorial on making a rock, uh, a rock face surface uh, cutting out of foam. What I'm going to do, there's two cuts. We're going to do uh, uh, vertical cuts in the foam and then we're going to do horizontal cuts. Uh, we're going to start with the vertical cuts on the foam. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut these cuts sort of shallow. So in other words, I'm not going to go very deep and I'm going to cover a, a bit of distance here like this. So that one's not very deep and then I'm going to do another cut and I'm going to make it go just a little bit deeper. Let's uh, retract this knife just a little bit. There we go. You might have, you know, two layers of foam, so you might be going pretty thick on this. So I'm going to have another uh, vertical cut like this, and this one I'm going to cut just a bit deeper. So we've got sort of a shallow cut, we've got a deeper cut. Another thing that you want to do to add variety to the vertical ones is you can taper it up or down. In other words, I'm going to angle the knife like this and I'm going to cut down and I'm going to angle the knife like this. So we've got sort of a cone shaped texture here. And you can angle it the other way to where it looks sort of like a gully. Uh, so you can angle it so that um, it's not exactly vertical. It angles just a little bit. That will add variety. So add variety in two ways. You're going to add it by shallow cuts that don't go very deep and you're going to have some cuts that go very deep and then you can also angle by you know making them not go exactly vertical so what you're going to do is just sort of get all the vertical cuts in the texture kind of like this so I'm just going to finish this one off like this not go too deep and then, you know, beyond it, you can probably go deep again. So we've just got a, a variety here like this. The next thing we're going to do are the horizontal cuts. Now, I'm going to use an X-Acto knife for the horizontal cuts. We're not going to cut horribly deep. We're going to go maybe an eighth to a quarter inch deep into the foam. We're going to do a lot of cuts, and we're not going to cut straight into the foam. I'm actually going to angle the blade just a little bit, maybe 15 degrees this way make a bunch of cuts, and then I'm going to angle the knife back the other way, make a few cuts. So you'll actually remove some deep grooves from the foam. But you're not going to remove a lot of grooves. So I'm going to do about probably eight vertical cuts. So I'm going to angle the knife downward a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, maybe a couple more over here. Okay, now I'm going to angle the knife up a little bit and I'm going to do some vertical cuts. I'm only cutting about an eighth inch into the foam here. Okay, and I've got a few cuts out. Now, you would think that a lot more chunks of foam would have fallen out here because of my angle. Well, there's a lot of that are actually cut out, but they're just sort of hanging in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and you're going to push along here and remove a few of these. Then you're going to take your knife and you're going to go vertically. You're going to do a few more vertical cuts. So I'm going to cut in vertically and pull out. And if I scrape my knife across the surface, you can see that I'm breaking this a little and I'm pulling a little bit of this out. So it's sort of a cross between pushing down a little, scraping across the surface, and also cutting in and removing just a little bit more of the surface. That big knife will do the major cuts for you. The small knife will do the minor cuts for you. And notice as I'm kind of cutting in, kind of scraping across, and pushing down with my thumb to sort of get some of this out of here. So in this rock right here, you know it looks pretty smooth, not a lot has come out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some vertical cuts just a little bit, and I'm going to scrape across the top like that. The scraping across the top and running down with my thumb is removing a bit of the foam. Now, right in here, it looks like it needs to be cut just a little bit more. So I'm actually going to slice the foam a little bit. And after slicing, I'm going to just kind of pull away just a little bit like that. Okay? Now that right there is not too bad of a stone texture. 